This time on Gaming After 40, it's the least interactive video game system ever produced, the Action Max. The Action Max console was produced in 1987 by Worlds of Wonder, creators of Teddy Ruxpin. The console isn't high-powered, it actually runs on 4C batteries, and requires a VCR to display the video. There's no direct connection between the Action Max and the VCR, just a sensor that we suction cup to the TV screen, and suction cup to the TV screen. Our $5 thrift store bundle includes two games to try out, Sonic Fury and 38 Ambush Alley. To get the most out of the experience, we're going to use a big old projection TV with surround sound. And we're off! To make sure your TV is properly adjusted before playing. Seriously, kudos to any kid who was able to sit through the calibration instructions. Here we go. It's definitely the 80s. The gameplay is simple. We have to shoot the enemy targets and avoid the friendly targets. In Sonic Fury, we deal with an onslaught of motion-controlled fighter jet models, assisted by our voice-dubbed buddies and plenty of blue screen. Eventually, we chase the enemy bogeys away, and that's that. In 38 Ambush Alley, we're a rookie cop assisting a crazed officer lost in his own paranoid little world. His targeting choices are unorthodox. And, well... Listen, you did pretty darn good out there today. You keep up the good work, someday you can be my partner. No thanks. I hit the showers. It's a fright. There were a number of titles produced for the Action Max during its short life, but the gameplay is always pretty much the same and lasts about 15 minutes. Here's how the Action Max actually works. It flashes a circle of light in the lower right-hand corner whenever an active target is on screen. If the console detects that the player is aiming at a spot flashing in sync with the sensor spot, it registers an enemy hit. If it's out of sync, it registers a friendly target. The Action Max games suffer from the problem that plagued most VCR games. It's a linear tape, so there's no genuine interactivity. Whether we shoot well or don't bother to shoot at all, the story plays out exactly the same way every time. At least we can goof around by creating our own homebrew Action Max games. Have you ever dreamed of finding a great treasure? Would there be something terribly wrong would be with me wrong. saying, Lord, it is the desire of my heart to have a nice car? Final score, action zero, max zero. This has been the Gaming After 40 video podcast. Thanks for watching. Please vote for us on iTunes and check out our blog at www.gamingafter4040.com.